Hi everyone, Nicole here from Warm Hearted Designs. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to do a really quick tutorial on how to make sunglass cases. I actually sell quite a few of these in my shop. I have an Etsy shop, Warm Hearted Designs, and they're just really easy. They're cute. I use one for my own sunglasses. I kind of just keep it in my car and um, they're wonderful gift ideas. They're great if you have just scrap fabric. Um, this is a wonderful idea for that. So let's get started. The things that you're going to need are you're going to need fusible fleece. You're going to do um, you're going to have four pieces. You're going to have your outer fabric, which is going to be four and a half by eight and a half. You're going to have two of those, and you're also going to have two of your lining fabric, four and a half by eight and a half. You're going to fuse your fleece to your fabric, uh, your outer fabric. So you'll have two pieces with the fusible fleece on it. You're also going to need a rotary cutter to cut your fabric, or you can use scissors. We're going to use just a few of these pins. You can use any kind of pins you like. I use a bowl to get the rounded edges. I use my rotary cutter with my bowl to get the rounded edges. Okay, let's get started. So I've already completed some of my process. So first you're going to go ahead and fuse your fleece to your fabric, which I've done that already. So if you need to pause me, go ahead and do that. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is I actually quilt just one side of the case. I think it gives it kind of an added touch. You can see the quilt on the back. I literally am just doing straight lines all the way down. And I think I only did, a, um, I spaced them three. I used my um, machine to, to space them three apart whatever the three remains, <laughs> but I used my quarter foot and I used the three. So you have kind of the nice detail of the quilted look. I just really love the quilted look for my um, cases. Okay, so I've done that and now I need to round the edges. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. I just take my piece, I line it up and I use my lines on my board. Let's use my messy board. I take my bowl, I put it right up to the edge of that fabric, I press down really hard, I use my rotary cutter, and I just kind of cut the edges of that off. Okay, so I've done that, and that is how you get the rounded look. And I'm literally going to do that just for all of my four pieces, and as soon as I do that, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I went ahead and I cut all of my um, rounds on all four of my pieces. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I usually do it on my mat, but I'll show you just kind of up. So I take one of my outer pieces and I take, if I can get them apart, one of my lining pieces and I'm going to put them together. And let's go ahead and show you on the mat so you can get a better idea of what I'm going to be doing. So I just... I go ahead and line up my piece. I don't know why that one looks a little bit off. Let's go ahead and cut that one just a little bit more. I think it just moved when I was cutting it. Okay, I got that one cut better. Now we're just going to take that piece. We're going to take this piece that goes with it, and we are literally just going to line it on top of it. Now, if this is a, a, a piece that has some uh, detail on it or, you know, flowers as well, you, you're going to want to face your two fabrics touching each other with the lining and the fabric touching each other. The um, What am I trying to say? The patterns should be matching together. Okay, so we've got that. I would just use a basic color that way. It doesn't really matter. I usually just pin one because I'm just going to, what you're going to do is you're just going to sew a stitch all the way across there. So I'll do that for that. I'll go ahead and line this one up real quick with my, and I just do it like so. Put it like so together. And I'm kind of just doing this quick one so you guys get an idea of how to do it. Okay, so I've got those two. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew a stitch from here all the way to here. And I'll be back when I'm done doing that for both of my pieces. Okay, so I finished sewing just my line across. I'm gonna take my pins out. Now you have the pieces and you're gonna fold them out. 
and you're going to kind of pop that seam out and you're going to get it all lined up and straight and then what I do is I go over to my iron and I just iron it so it's like a nice crisp look to it so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back okay so I went ahead and I pressed both of my um, top lines together so now you've got the two pieces what you're going to do is you're going to turn the fabrics together and you're going to place them together so you line them up and again I usually do this on my board but I'll just do it sitting here to show you and then I pin the two pieces together and all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from this top point I'm going to do a couple double you know back and forth stitches I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to leave a little bit of room so I can turn my quarter inch. I'm going to come down again, leave a little bit of room, come all the way down, do a couple back stitches. And then in the end, I'm going to surge. Well, I'm going to do my fake surge. I'm going to do my zigzag stitch all the way on the lining, all the way on the lining, all the way on the lining. And I will go ahead and do that, and I'll be back to show you the end result. Hi everyone! Okay, so I went ahead and I sewed my line all the way across and then I actually did the zigzag stitch and it's really hard to see but that way you don't get all the fraying um, from washing it and drying it. You don't get all those frays, you know, it, just, it looks a lot cleaner and neater and I always like to do that. So now we are going to turn this beautiful case inside out or right side out. So now just go ahead and kind of work your way to getting that out. This is the hardest part of the look of the whole the whole project is just turning your case inside out. And I have small hands and sometimes I can get my hand in there and do it, but sometimes I can't. So I'm just gonna keep working this, getting it all inside out. And I actually have this handy little tool that kind of helps me poke my edges out. So I do that, get it as pushed out as you possibly can because you want it to have that nice done look. And sometimes I'll even take the edge of a pen just to really get that edge pushed out. Come to this side, get the edge pushed out. All right, mine's pretty, pretty good. So now my last step that I do is I actually iron it to give it a really crisp clean look and then I want to set all of my seams so I'll iron that but at the end this is what you get a beautiful quilted front sunglass case that you can give as a gift you can sell them on your Etsy shop you can do whatever you'd like you can make them for yourself but that's it so easy as that. Okay guys, well I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, I'd love to hear them. And um, till next time. All right, bye-bye guys.